Hello, we're talking today about the anatomy of different accounts. And we're going to look at a current liability account called unearned revenue. And because it's a current liability, we know that the debit side decreases and the credit side increases. You'll recall that unearned revenue exists because customers pay us in advance for services yet to be performed, or customers pay us in advance for products yet to be delivered. So we have to put the responsibility for their cash in a liability account. So when we receive their cash, we debit cash and we credit unearned revenue. So this is cash received from customers. And it stays in this account until such time as we render the services or we deliver the goods. And at that point, we would debit unearned revenue and credit sales, fees earned, a revenue account. So this is uh, revenue earned. Usually we make this revenue earned entry at the end of the period because we don't do it um, every day. We just evaluate this account at year end and say, of what's in this account, how much has been earned uh, for the period. So we'd also know that unearned revenue would have a beginning credit balance and an ending credit balance. So let's take some facts and apply it. It says that the beginning balance is $8,000 and that our ending balance is $5,000 and that we have sales that were earned by year end of $13,000. So the question we have is how much cash did we receive from customers before we rendered any um, services or provided the goods? Well, if I reverse my signs, 5,000 plus 13,000 minus 8,000 says we received during the period a total of $10,000 from customers before we did anything. So that's unearned revenue. Thanks.